Hi everyone, Adam here. So in this video today, I'm going to be talking through the Create Order Management tool that comes with the Shop Builder and Above packages. So to access your order management, you want to first click on the Shop section to take you to your shop home, which is where I am at the moment, and then click on the Order Management in the left-hand menu, followed by Orders. So here is the order management, and you can see at the moment I've got five orders come through, and they're all listed below. All my orders, all these five orders are currently in a pending state. So this is on a top level, you can see a variety of different details without even having to click on anything. You've got an order ID, which is the number here. This is generated automatically by our system and it's unique to that individual order. The, the date the order was placed, the name of the customer that placed the order, the current status of the order, how many items were ordered, and the total cost. This, this section here will show the icon for the payment gateway used. For these orders, Create Payments was used, so the Create Payment icon is showed. But if it was PayPal, the PayPal icon will show. If it was Stripe, the Stripe icon would show, etc. Um, and then at the end here, we've got Print Order and View Order. So if I wanted to see more details of an order, such as what was, what was actually ordered and where it needs to be sent to, simply a case of clicking on the View Order icon at the very end, which is an I. So I'm going to click on that. This panel will now open. So this panel will include the order, order number with the order status at the top, and then some information about the customer, including a delivery address and a billing address. Good to know if the customer has made a different billing address to their delivery address, you'll see that here. And then there's an order breakdown, which will see what was ordered, so what you need to uh, send to the customer and how much was paid. To simply close this panel again, you can go click on the cross at the top, and this will take you back to the top level of the order management. So taking the John Doe customer, for example, if I wanted to uh, change this order to a different status, um, it's simply a case of clicking on that status here. So once again, just click on the status that says pending, and a drop-down menu will appear. We've got a variety of different options that you can pick and select for an order. So we've got pending waiting payment, processing, processing picking, processing packaging, waiting dispatch, dispatched, refunded, and cancelled. Now you might not need to use all these different statuses that we offer, but you may find them useful for various, depending on how many orders you have and how you manage your, your order processing. But for this example, I'm going to put um, this order to processing packaging. So I'm getting it ready for dispatched. So simply a case of highlighting the status you want, click on that, and a window will open. So this window is just showing a confirmation screen to make sure you want to mark that order as the processing packaging. So you'll see it's referencing the order you've selected, processing packaging, and it's giving me the option that I can send an email along as well as updating the status if I wanted to. If I did want to do that, I would simply click the toggle here and a little window will pop up where I can type in a message. Um, for this example, I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to set no. And I'm going to click update status. As you can see now, the order has changed from pending to this blue processing packaging status. And you will also notice at the top here, I now only have four pending and one processing. So if I wanted to view all my orders that were in a processing state, it would simply be a case of clicking this menu here that says processing. And then suddenly the system will display any order set to a processing substatus. So nice and easy for you to view any orders that you would like to, you're in the process of getting ready. Now going back to all orders, another way you can change an order status is by clicking the view order and then up the top here, same as before, if you click on this you've got the same options, exactly the same different statuses you can change. So whichever one you find easier you can change, you can set the status there. Now another useful feature is that you can change the status of several orders at once. So let's say I would like to change the Alan, Jane and Jonathan um, orders to dispatch. So I'm going to tick the first order, Alan Clark, and then all of a sudden you'll see there's an additional menu that appears up here once you've click, clicked an order. So I'm going to carry on clicking, so Jane and Jonathan. Now this this section up here is to change the status of multiple orders and it will only appear once you've selected an order. And if you click on this drop down, once again it's the same actions and uh, statuses as before. So you've got all the different options. So for these three I want to mark them as dispatched. 
So I'm going to click on Dispatched and cl click Apply. Once again, a pop-up will appear just to make sure, check in to make sure you want to uh, set these orders at this as this status. So, and also the option if you'd like to send an email. Now for this example, I am going to send an email, so I'm going to click Yes, and then a text box will open, and in this text box are some tags. These tags will automatically pull through various data that will be in the email sent to the customers. And it will be their first name, last name, order ID, shipping method, the items that they ordered, and the delivery address. So without you having to do anything, all that, order, all that information will be included in the email automatically. You could also add any personalization message to it after that if you'd like to. Um, on this case, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to click update and email. Now you can see those three orders have changed to dispatch with a green status all at once. Those three customers will now receive a order dispatched notification because I, I selected to send that to them. Um, if you'd like to edit an order or delete an order, this can be done in the view order screen once again by clicking the eye icon. Um, now, if you'd like to edit an order, now, for example, if you were later contacted by the customer that said, oh, I've accidentally provided you the wrong delivery address um, for my order, can you amend it? You can simply do that here by clicking the edit option, and then you will suddenly be given the option you can edit the delivery address, or you could edit the billing address, and, and then name any other details that needed to be uh, amended. And if you ever wanted to delete an order, you would have this option here delete and when clicking on this the system will pop up a, a check to make sure you do want to delete the order before actually deleting it so you can't accidentally delete an order so another useful option that the uh, order management allows you to use is the picking list so picking list is good to use utilize if you have a lot of stock and quite a regular amount of orders coming through it makes it easy for you to, uh, to go through your potential warehouse uh, to pick your orders and get them organized as quickly as possible. So to utilize the picking list, you need to have the orders set to processing picking. So I'm going to set um, the bottom three orders here to processing picking. So I'm going to set one, two, three, and then on here I'm just going to pick processing picking, and then apply. Don't want to send any emails, but I do want to update the status. So I'm going to click update status. Now you can see those three orders have all changed to processing picking. Now on the left hand side, underneath your order management menu, you'll see a various different options you can pick. And underneath orders is print picking list. I'm going to click on that. And what this will do is essentially open a PDF in your browser that you can then print. Now I'm going to close this print screen down. So this picking list makes it nice and easy for you to hand, hand this list to someone that they can go through your warehouse, pick through the items they need that are needed, and just tick them off as they go. Okay, so returning back to the order management screen, um, another option that you have to use with this functionality is to print a dispatch note. So if you'd like to print a dispatch note that you could place inside an order as you send them off, the order needs to be sent to processing packaging as its status. So once again, for these three, I'm going to move their status again. So I'm going to click those three orders. Back up here to choose an action. I'm going to click processing packaging. And then apply. Once again, I don't want to send an email on this case, so I'm going to click update status. And here you'll see the three orders have all changed to processing packaging. And I've already got one at the top here from earlier, set as processing packaging. So going to the left hand side, I've got print dispatch notes underneath the print picking list here. So if I click on that, your browser will then open the uh, PDFs within, the, uh, within a window that you can print off and then place these within your orders to be sent out. Another feature of the order management is the financial export tool. And this will allow you to export a CSV file of your orders that you've had in various different statuses, up to you which ones you want to export. And this can be useful for you for, for when you're doing any financial calculations for your, for your business. So if you wanted to use this, 
simply be a case of clicking on export just up here on the top right a little window will slide out and in here you can choose depending on the package you have with create there's a variety of different uh, formats you can export the CSV in you've got an option to select date range so if you only wanted orders for the last two months for example you could specify that in the date range or you could go provide no date range and it will just export all orders that are in your order management currently and you can also specify actually which statuses uh, orders you wanted so if you wanted them all you could tick them all or if you only wanted dispatched orders it would simply be a case of click dispatched and then once you have set your format your date range and your status you click on download and the system will then download to your computer a CSV file with all the order details and values in for you to then use with a, a spreadsheet application of your choice if you have any questions about the order management or there's anything you're unsure of how to use, contact your account manager at support at create.net and they'll be happy to get back to you and advise you further. Thanks for watching.